Hey, good morning, friends. Um, when you're undertaking to do automobile restorations, heavily modify the vehicle, there's multiple layers and multiple levels of things you have to undertake to do, but you have to establish, and I learned this from being in the military for 21 years, you have to establish an end state. E-N-D-S-T-A-T-E, -E, end state. Meaning, what do you want it to look like when you're done? Meaning, you go in there with your tank battalion and you blow stuff up, how do you want it to look? Or you take your engineer battalion down to Costa Rica and you build seven Bailey bridges. How do you want it to look? What do you want the end state to do, to look like, to be? Those are two examples that I was well-versed in, <laughs> well-versed in in the United States Army. Actually, meaning I did do those things. Been to Costa Rica, been in a tank battalion, and we blew stuff up, okay? So, applying that kind of logic to an automobile that you're restoring, there really is, quote, nothing right until we have the end state. So, Modifying the engine, modifying the frame, the firewall, the braking system, everything has a systemic effect on everything else. For example, the seat. That right there is not a permanent seat. I know that, you know that, but it has to be illustrated because I just had a guy come over here sharpshooting me. He wasn't invited, by the way. Sharpshooting me on this gas pedal, saying that gas pedal is not right. Well, I know it's not right. This brake pedal is not right, okay? It's all aftermarket stuff. This is from the donor car in the 2003 Chevrolet truck. It's a placeholder. It's not necessarily going to be in the final place, but what drives all of this is me sitting in, this, in the car like I've done getting the proper relationship of my legs to the pedals, my, my hands to the steering wheel, which Bridget and I put a steering wheel in here, and we sat in here and we established the relationship. Now, the limitations are the steel rod is straight. So the guy that came over here said, well, you know, you can't modify it. You have to modify this. You have to modify the exhaust, which you can. You can modify that. You can buy an aftermarket header. And it, you know, directs the exhaust straight down here. It, it can work, but I'm trying to make this work. And I'm trying to keep this as, you know, free of clutter as possible. I don't necessarily want a brake lever to come straight down here. You know, that's just too much movement of a lever. If I can modify it a little bit, make it a little bit shorter, make it a little bit different, and still works, I'm gonna to try to do that. Just like this is not a final seat, this is a placeholder, you know? This is here to keep my pockets from catching in the springs. You know, shouldn't have to explain it. But car restorers, people that do this kind of stuff, and that's all they do, that's all they have done, I've, I have found that the limitations or their imagination is very limited. You can't imagine that the steel can be bent, modified, fabricated. Some can, but maybe not. You know, I tend to think very big. All my stuff I think big and grandiose. Some may say I think too much, but I don't think so. I don't believe that is, is a correct assessment because most people won't even put this thing on. You know, this bottom triangle part of the extended firewall. They'll just use the existing mounts that were there, you know, on the old, on the old body. But uh, so there's a combination of everything that goes on at once that you have to balance it out in your head and you have to war game it and you have to run through multiple scenarios. The biggest one is putting your butt in the seat in establishing the relationship of your feet to the pedals, your hands to the steering wheel, it has to be comfortable. It cannot be awkward.
You know, this individual said that the, the, the accelerator pedal goes over here. Well, okay, but then your foot is resting on the transmission tunnel. I don't want to do that. So I've chosen not to do that. So I've utilized the existing throttle that came on the donor vehicle. And this may not stay like that. This is what they call a placeholder. Just like this is not a permanent seat. It's a placeholder. It just works for right now to establish me not catching the springs. And this establishes proper dimensions of my feet. On the old car, there was a clutch pedal right here. This car doesn't have it, so the brake pedal is here. So it's comfortable when you're sitting in the car and your feet just naturally go down there naturally. So that placement of the pedals dictated or dictates what has to happen down in here. This here is also something that I do not want to negotiate around. I will if I have to by buying the aftermarket header, but so far we have this working. It, it, it fits, systemically fix, fits. So the guy that came over here unannounced, unexpectedly coming over here, walking in, sharpshooting me, I wasn't prepared for that, okay? Uh, I wasn't here at all yesterday. I get here and my neighbors just you know, garbage flowing out, broken glass everywhere. So, um, you know, I'm dealing with with a bunch of uh, civilians. So they don't have the mentality of the military, which is sorely needed in our society. We need we need this. We need some discipline. We need some people that are going to break down their boxes, you know, and sweep up their broken glass, you know. Do it. If you just do simple things like that, if your lane is in front of you, do what is in your lane properly, expertly, to the best of your ability. If you know you're breaking glass and the glass is going on the ground, people are going to drive over and get flat tires. Should be a no-brainer. People still do dumb shit, and there's no reason to do dumb stuff. So anyways... Um, the point is of this video is that metal is malleable. Metal can be manipulated into what we want it to do. We cannot maintain our rigidity of a metal rod and then we, you know, we, we fix things around it. We can manipulate the rod, change the rod, fix it so we have a proper aesthetic. So there's multiple things that go into this. So for someone to come over here and say, I did something wrong, it's relative. It may be wrong, but it may be right. So we're not there yet. So it's all a process of doing things. Um, so it fits the end state, the end, the end state. That's the big thing. So folks, I gotta go. Lots to do today. Have a good day. Tschüss, bye-bye.